This represents the optimal stance for targeting a buffalo in a broadside position. We do not advise attempting a neck shot. The intricate nature of the neck muscles makes this a risky choice. The recommended shot placement is about one-third up the shoulder, offering the highest likelihood of success. A slight deviation to the left or right will still hit the heart or lungs accurately. A slightly higher shot will land in the lungs and might result in a broken shoulder. Conversely, aiming slightly lower will still hit the heart while potentially breaking the shoulder. This position is strongly discouraged and aiming for an African buffalo, it's best to avoid this scenario whenever feasible. The brain's position is consistently shifting with any movement of the head. If this shot must be taken, it's advisable to use a sturdy projectile to achieve optimal penetration. Although the heart and lung shot is the more conventional choice, it's a challenging one. The odds of success are not in your favor, as a slight miscalculation in angle can result in missing these critical organs. Nonetheless, it remains crucial to thoroughly acquaint yourself with the various angles. The circumstances during the hunt might necessitate resorting to this specific shot. African buffaloes are known for their strong social bonds and cooperative behavior. They live in herds that can range from a few individuals to several hundred, and these herds often display a complex social structure. They work together to protect each other from predators, with the adults forming a defensive circle around the young and vulnerable members of the group. African buffaloes are deceptively agile and powerful animals. Despite their bulky appearance, they are capable of running at high speeds, reaching up to 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour. Their muscular build and sharp horns make them a formidable force when defending themselves against predators, including lions and hyenas. African buffaloes have a mutually beneficial relationship with certain bird species, particularly oxbeckers. These birds often perch on buffaloes and feed on ticks and other parasites that infest the buffalo's skin. In return, the buffalo gains relief from the irritation caused by these pests. It's a classic example of symbiotic behavior in the animal kingdom, where two species work together for mutual benefit.